Hi, I'm Doc Dixon. Welcome to Free Trick Friday, presented to you by Murphy's Magic. Here's the trick. We're going to get away from the cards and the coins and do something with snack food. Yay! <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't have someone with me to pick a chip, so I I'll do the chip picking myself. You take out a chip at random. Problem is, all chips look identical, so we have to disfigure the chip. So here, I'll break off a piece, leave that there. The rest of the chip we vanish using the classic Marlowe Erdinay's chip vanishing method. Look, a tiger. So, the chip vanishes. Excuse me, this is tasty and slowly is dematerializing and the particles are going into the nether realm in the air where they slowly rematerialize. Ooh, the box of mystery. If we look inside the box of mystery, oh, they have formed back together and check it out. The corner matches perfectly. Isn't snack food magic great? You probably want to know method. Heck, you probably already know the method, but let, let, let's go over it anyway. I should mention that uh, this was shot right after my Murphy's at the table lecture. And typically I do this with pretzels because they're more uniform than chips are. They, chips tend to vary in size, but we'll do, we'll do it with the, uh, the chips anyways, because you can learn the same principle. This goes inside the box here. And this piece, which was snapped off that piece, goes in the uh, Erdnace Marlowe chip piece finger palm. So, again, it works better with pretzels. They're a bit more uniform. You have somebody take out a pretzel or choose a pretzel. You can spread them, you know, or choose a chip, you know, like you're doing a card trick. It depends how much you want to play it up. They take one out. You say, wait, all these bad boys look alike. We have to identify this somehow, make it unique. Snap off a piece. And then uh, just you're going to come over to the table wherever you want to drop it or hand it off to somebody. Keep that in your hand and drop the finger palmed one. Again, pretty basic stuff. Keep it in your hand, drop the finger palm one. Kind of like the bobo change, but with snack food pieces. Now we have to make this vanish. Eat it along with the piece you took from before the piece you switched out. I feel very rude now. I'm having to lecture while people are eating. Perhaps you can eat a chip now and we can eat together. All right. It dematerializes, and goes off into the nether where it reforms and goes inside the box of mystery. If you don't have a box of mystery, that's fine. You could just use a box or an envelope or most likely if you're doing this for buddies at a bar where there's like a bowl of pretzels, just put the sucker under a napkin. Don't overthink this, people. No. Oh, they open it up. They take out the chip, but wait, a piece is missing. And let them pick it up. And let them see it is indeed a perfect match. That's it. Uh, it, it probably it's not something you're going to put in your show, but it is something it's fun to do when you're hanging out with your buds and, there, and there's some snack food present. I mean, the, the preparation is all the minute. It's Doc Dixon. This is Murphy's Free Trick Friday. Hope to see you next time. Thanks.